With all the fame, money, and worldwide exposure that NBA players get, it's easy for some of them to forget where they came from. But that's not the case with every player, and these nine especially. Because these nine players never let any of their successes get to their head, and never let them forget that they're just ordinary people. And most on this list have seen the importance of giving back to kids and families that are in a similar situation as to what they were when growing up. And that's some of what's helped them be known as nine of the nicest players in the NBA. Now I do have to say that we will be mentioning how players have given away money and, and donated things, and that obviously doesn't instantly make someone a nice guy, but it does play a part. So let's look at number one, and Damian Lillard. You can just tell by the way Damian Lillard carries himself that he's a good dude. He's humble, he keeps to himself, and he's never had any questionable moments on or off the court. I mean, he made a diss track on Marvin Bagley and waved the OKC Thunder out of existence, but that was just him getting his job done. And the story that always comes to mind whenever I think about nice NBA players happened a few years ago. It talked about how Dame was in a store shopping, and a fan came up to him and asked him for a picture. Lillard told him to wait until he was done shopping, and then he went home and forgot about the fan. So Damien put out a tweet saying that he felt bad. The fan tweeted back and said that it was okay, but instead of it just ending there, Lillard sent him a message so he could drive back out and meet up with the fan to take a picture. And not many guys in the league would even think twice about doing the same thing, and it goes to show the kind of character he has. And then there's the viral video going around recently where Lillard randomly walked up to two kids in an Adidas store and bought them both five pairs of shoes. And these are just two small instances that were shared on the internet. They're not even to mention him donating an entire gym, weight room, and music studio to his old high school. Or the time that he convinced the entire Blazers team to give their postseason bonus to the team's staff. Damian Lillard struggled as a kid, so he knows what it's like, and he does his best to help out as many people as possible that may be struggling too. And number two goes to Donovan Mitchell. And along with Lillard, Donovan's another guy that's just naturally a good guy, and there's a countless amount of real life instances out there where he's proved it. Instances where nobody was watching, and where he wasn't doing good Good things just to get his name out there. Like when he got word that his former fourth grade teacher's daughter couldn't continue college because they were out of money. So with the help of his charity, he gave them a check for $25,000. Or when he shows up at random local events like barbecues or smaller basketball games to hang out with fans and enjoy the community. Or even the two instances where he paid for a guy's groceries ahead of him in line when he didn't have enough money, and the time that he overheard someone in the Apple store who didn't have enough money to repair their phone, so he stepped up and paid for it to be fixed himself self instead. Or even the other time where Donovan saw a car accident, pulled over, called 911, and went out and waited to make sure everyone was okay. These were all everyday acts of kindness that he's done because he chose to help someone out, and things that you don't hear about all the time from players that have the ability to do these kinds of things. But Mitchell did them because he said he wants to impact as many lives as possible in any way that he can because he's in a good position to do so. Then number three goes to Pau Gasol. And Gasol isn't as interesting as some of the other guys that'll be in this video, but still deserves a spot. He's always been one of the nicest overall players in terms of how he treats fans, teammates, and the media. A few years back, he even spoke about the fact that he might be too nice for his own good, saying, I'm so nice that people take advantage of it, and it's a problem sometimes. It's a tough business to be in for that, but that's never stopped him from sticking to who he is. In recent years, it's become the cool thing to do to try and make members of the media sound dumb when the time comes. But when asked why Powell was always so nice to them, he said, I just try to be helpful and help them do their jobs well too. Even if I don't feel great or I'm upset about a loss, it's both of our jobs, so I try to make it as easy as possible for everyone. And then even on top of that, Pau Gasol may really be too nice. Because earlier this year, the Spurs bought out his contract, so so they would have owed him 6.7 million dollars this upcoming season. But he gave them back 2.5 million dollars to help them and their salary cap for the year. Like, who does that? The number 4 spot then belongs to Kevin Durant. And KD's not your usual nice guy, because he spent the last few years being, or at least trying to be, the villain of the NBA. Because ever since joining the Warriors, he lost a lot of people's respect, and just like when LeBron joined the Heat, Durant tried to play into that villain role after being known as one of the nicest and most humble guys in OKC. He even said, the guy you see now is the real me. The guy in OKC was a phony. Which led to Charles Barkley saying that Kevin was actually a really nice guy, he was just trying to be a bad guy. And I agree with him on that. 
because Katie really cares what people think of him and does whatever he can to try to get people on his side. Like playing with an injured calf. And you can't tell me that after that tearjerker of an MVP speech that this guy's a bad person. On top of that, he also does his fair share of giving back. He still does charity work in Oklahoma, spent $10 million to open an educational center in his hometown, and has built over 13 basketball courts around the world for underprivileged kids. And now that he's on the nets and is officially out of that villain role, I think it's good for him. And good that he can go back to acting like the good person that he really is. Number five is Mike Conley. And Conley's another guy that's heavily involved in his community and has always been known to be a good person on and off the court. I mean, even on the court throughout his entire 788 games played, he's never received one technical foul. He's tied with Grant Hill as having received the NBA Sportsmanship Award a record three times, and he even won the award for teammate of the year this past season. He doesn't have too many particular stories out there like Damian Lillard and Donovan Mitchell do, but it's still easy to see the kind of guy he is. And then off the court, he's received the NBA's Community Assist Award this past season for all he did for the city of Memphis. And it's something he's done for his whole career. He said, honestly, giving back and being entrenched in with my community is one of the more important things in my life. I mean, man, with Donovan Mitchell and Mike Conley, the city of Utah is about to be one of the happiest towns on the planet. Number six, Dirk Nowitzki. We're talking about current players and Dirk is recently retired, but I'm not ready to stop talking about him in videos. And to show how nice of a guy he is, here's some quotes from people around the NBA that know just how good of a person Dirk is. Charles Barkley said, Dirk is the nicest man ever. Then Steve Kerr would say, Dirk is just one of the guys that everybody loves. I don't think you can find anybody in the league who doesn't. Then when asked, Nuggets coach Mike Malone said, he has no ego and would do anything to bring a smile to a young boy or girl's face. While current Pistons coach Dwayne Casey was quoted with, he's one of the most beautiful human beings you can be around. Very rarely do you find a Hall of Fame type player as humble and as grateful as Dirk is. While finally Luka Doncic said that I've never heard of anybody that hates him. Even if you want to try to hate him, you just can't. And it's always been clear to fans that have just even watched him on TV that he's naturally a good guy. And all of this praise from his former teammates and peers backs up that assumption. Number 7, LeBron James. LeBron's an easy choice for this video as he's easily done more charitable work than any other player in the league and I think easily more than anyone in NBA history. I mean, through his foundation, he famously opened up an entire school for the kids of Akron to help fight their dropout rate and to get kids to stay out of the streets and keep them from turning down the wrong path. And he's even made it to where any kid who graduates from his school can attend the University of Akron for free in an amount that cost him nearly $42 million. And that one's definitely the biggest, but there's way too many more charitable things that he's done to even list off. But even away from the charities, through all the fame and money, being possibly the most recognizable athlete in the world for years, he's never had any personal issues come out. He's been an advocate against major political issues, a great family man, and supports his son courtside at nearly every game he can. And one might think that it's easy to give back and be as much of a role model as James has been, given his position, but you can easily look at a guy like Michael Jordan and how bad of a guy he's considered to be off the court, and hopefully it makes you realize that it's simply not that easy to be a good person in that position. Another role model type player is number 8 with Steph Curry. And Steph's done a lot to earn his reputation. And while he's strangely not liked by a lot of fans or even NBA players, former teammate Andre Iguodala says it's because other players are jealous of what he has. He said Steph's a good dude and a great guy to be around. And I've never seen such a good person get such backlash because of jealousy. On top of him vouching for him, Warriors writer Marcus Thompson II has said that out of all the NBA players he's worked with, Steph has been hands down the nicest. And with his demeanor on and off the court, his nothing but nets campaign, and his annual golf tournaments to raise money for kids scholarships, there's never been anything bad to say about the guy as a person. There's not really as many interesting stories out there about Steph and his kindness, but when researching for the video he was easily one of the players that fans said had to be included. And finally, number 9, Dwayne Wade. Wade spent most of his career in Miami and helped them to three NBA championships. And over his career, quickly became the Heat's overall best franchise player. LeBron was probably the best player to play for the Heat, but overall as a member of the team, Dwayne Wade's their guy. The point is that for as much as D-Wade did on the court, for the Miami Heat to earn their respect, he did just as much
much off the court to earn the respect of the entire city. And some of his best contributions were highlighted in this Budweiser video that came out a couple of months ago. If you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it and it's linked in the description. But I'll warn you, it's a tearjerker. In it, Wade was approached by five people that he helped throughout his career. One was the sister of a Parkland victim who was buried in Wade's jersey because he was his favorite player. And soon after Dwayne heard about it, he wrote the boy's name on his shoe that night for the game and eventually met with the family to help them out. Another was a mother whose house burned down before Christmas. So Wade flew out and took her whole family on a shopping spree. Then a third was a girl who graduated college thanks to a scholarship that Dwayne Wade had given her. The fourth was a kid who Dwayne spoke to and really helped turn his life around. And finally the last was his mother, who he didn't know for a lot of his childhood because she had addiction problems. And he never really met her until he made it into the league. But he never held a grudge over her personal problems and never let that get in the way. Instead he bought her an entire church to help turn her life around in 2008 and it worked. She's been a new person ever since then, and they have a better relationship than ever to this day. And these are just five small examples of types of things that Dwayne Wade does and the man he is. And, and what hands down makes him one of the nicest players across all of the NBA. None of this list was in order, so based on the video, comment down below and let me know who you think is the nicest player in the NBA. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next video.